I'll guide you through how you can install fabric in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this. So firstly, what you need to do is quit off Minecraft and then you'll need to go and open up an internet browser. So in this case, I'm gonna go and open up Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you like and then come to a search engine like Google. And then what you want to do is go and search for Minecraft fabric, just like so, go and search for it. And the official website is fabricmc.net, so click here. And now here we are on the website and it does give you a bit of information about the installation here. Don't worry, I'm going to guide you through everything so you don't need to read it too much. Just go to the top and tap on download. And then what you want to do is click on download for Windows, just like so. It will go and take a moment to load. And as you can see, we've then got this exit here in my browser. However, everyone's browser is different. So it's easy to go and find your downloads in your file explorer. Here we are in my file explorer. So I'm then gonna go and double tap on this installer here. The first option we have is to choose the Minecraft version. So I've just got the latest one that's selected here. However, you may want to go and get a different one. That's going to be up to you. Uh, the loader version, I'll just use the most recent one. And then it's already found the install location for me and make sure create profile is selected and click on install. It doesn't take long at all to install. As you can see, it says it's been successfully installed. So now what you can do is go and close off the fabric installer like this. Now that you've installed fabric, you now need to run Minecraft. So I'm just gonna go and search for it, click on Minecraft and make sure you've got Minecraft Java selected. And then to the left of the play button, you can choose the version. As you can see, mine's, mine's got fabric automatically selected, but you may need to click here and then click on fabric. You can also go and look um, in installations and view it here as well and click on play or go and click play here. You'll need to go and agree to this because you're playing with a modified version and then go and click on play and wait for it to launch. And now that it's launched, you can then go and close it again. And then what you want to do is come to the bottom of your computer and tap on search and go and type in run like this and click on the app run here. What you can alternatively do is press on the Windows key and R at the same time. And what you then want to do is type in percentage app data percentage like I have here and tap OK. This will then open up your file explorer. And then what you want to do is go into the dot Minecraft folder. And then as you can see, we go and get our Minecraft files and there should be a folder here called mods because when, when you go and run fabric for the first time, it goes and creates this mods folder. If there isn't one, just right click in a blank space press on you, tap on folder, uh, and then make a folder called mods. Keep this open because now what we need to do is go back to the Fabric website. Well, I actually minimized mine, so I've still got it. And go to the download page again. And then as you can see here, it does say most mods will also require you to install Fabric API into the mods folder. So then what you can do is go and click on Fabric API and it'll take you to Curse Forge. This is a trusted website. And then what you want to do is scroll down and go and click on files and then you can go and download um, the Fabric API. So I like to download the same version as the API I got. So this is 1.20.1. Uh, so I then go over to the right and click on the three dots and press download file. The download should shortly begin. And then what we can do is go and locate this again. So I'm just gonna go minimize my uh, browser there. I'm going to go and open up another file explorer because we need to come to this .minecraft location. Just quickly go into the mods folder actually like that. And then what you can do is right click on the file explorer. And then what you can do is go to your downloads or just open up the another file explorer and then go to downloads and here it is. And then what we can do is go and drag the fabric API into the mods folder like this. And now that you've added the fabric API, we can now go and start adding fabric mods. So just as an example, I'm gonna go and get a mod from Curse Forge. So I'll click in the top left on Curse Forge, go into Minecraft and I'm now going to go and find a Curse Forge mod. And so I've now gone and found a mod which is for fabric. So I'm gonna go and get this more decorations one. So I'm going to go and click on it like this, then this go to files to make sure I can get the latest version, which is 1.20.1. Go over to the right, tap on the three dots and press on download file like this. And now we can just wait for it to finish downloading. And then once again, I'm going to go and locate the file in my file explorer. So what I'm going to do is go and open it up. I've now gone and located the pack or the mod I just downloaded. And once again, we need to go to our mods folder. So I'm just going to go and tap on search, type in run, type in percentage app data percentage then go to dot Minecraft, then into mods. Now, what you need to do is make sure the mod you download is a dot jar. So in this case, I downloaded the zip file and this is because it's like a pack with multiple mods in. A lot of the times when you download a mod, it's just going to be a dot jar file. If it's a zip file, what you'll need to do is go and double click into it and then go into mods. And then what I can do is go and select all of these like this 
I'm just gonna go and drag them into the mods folder like so. There's actually a hundred, so there's quite a few here. In most cases, you're just gonna have a single jar file. This is just an example. And so it's now finished just like so. And then what you can do is go and open up Minecraft again. And I'm just gonna show you that we've now gone and installed these mods. Once again, make sure you run Minecraft with Fabric as well, as otherwise the mods are not gonna be there. And so now here we are in Minecraft and I'm just gonna go and open up and show you, type in share. Just like that, and as you can see, I can go and start using them. Let's go down to the ground, and we can now go and use chairs. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.